Bangkok is one of the world's biggest and most vibrant cities and seamlessly melds the old and historic with the modern and cosmopolitan. Always on the move, it draws a constant stream of visitors eager to wander its streets and grab themselves a bargain. Anywhere you head around Bangkok, there's something you won't need to do, and that's pinch the bread roll and piece of cheese off the breakfast buffet where you're staying, because one thing for certain, there's no shortage of cheap, delicious food in this city. Up for a taste? Thought so. Markets such as Wang Lung on the banks of the Chao Praia River, with its maze of laneways and shops, are so much fun to explore. And going where the local shop adds another dimension to your Bangkok retail experience. Guaranteed there's plenty to spend your bart on. Of course, central to any good market is good food. There's plenty of tasty treats to be had on the streets and markets around Bangkok. And sometimes there's an unusual take, and this one's called a Tokyo pancake. It's got nothing to do with Japan. This is a totally Thai pancake. It's a simple batter with a little bit of curd in here. This is, a, uh, this is the sweet version, but they can crack a quail egg, you can put a sausage or a piece of crab in it, and they are delicious. We can mine it coming up right now. Once you get the taste for super cheap local food, there's no stopping you tracking more down even though there may be a few distractions on the way. No matter what time of the day, you'll never go hungry in Bangkok. By day, Bangkok's street cuisine is fantastic. However, at night, Bangkok's Chinatown cranks it up another gear. Chinatown is a truly fascinating area of Bangkok, with action at all hours and surprises at every turn. This popular tourist attraction is a food haven for the masses, whose main street transforms into a one kilometre open air eatery as soon as dusk approaches. When you head down Chinatown's main road, which is Yawok La, you'll find plenty of restaurants, but there's two that really stand out. Stand out because they're seafood restaurants. They One wears green shirts and the other one wears red shirts. And there's a fair bit of competition between the two to see who is the cheapest, freshest and tastiest seafood. And they're not shy in letting you know who it is. For me, it's lime ball. But when you're in Chinatown next, I suggest you drop into one of these, or both, and work it out for yourself. The choice of street food in Bangkok's Chinatown seems endless. No excuses for going hungry or thirsty here. At only $1.50 for a bottle of freshly squeezed pomegranate juice, this is why eating out in Bangkok is so popular. When you're heading around Chinatown, you will come across a very unusual smell. Sort of a sickly sweet fragrance with a tinge of old socks, and that is this. It's a tropical fruit called a durian. It's spiky. And I'm told it tastes like heaven, but smells like hell. The carrying of it is even frowned upon on public transport throughout Thailand. And the only way to work out whether that is true is have a piece. You know, it does taste like heaven. Ish. The market stalls and street-side restaurants on the footpaths and comedy and lanes are packed with locals and visitors who flock here to explore Chinatown's vibrant street-side cuisine. The street food in Bangkok's Chinatown seems endless. No excuses for going hungry here. There's so much choice and the prices are so cheap. This place oozes energy, from the satisfied patron to the stallholder keen to show off their deaf culinary skills and serve up a treat to yet another happy customer. If you've got a sweet tooth in Chinatown here in Bangkok, there's one delicacy I would suggest. It's called bird's nest soup. And it is actually made from a bird's nest or part of it. A local swift actually regurgitates its food to create, to create the nest. The nest is farmed sustainably in the south of Thailand and then cooked up. It's boiled, creating a gelatinous string that syrup's added to it and then forms the basis of Bird's nest soup. <laughs> Bit of swift. Street food in Bangkok is among the world's best, and it's not all about pad thai, tom yum soup, or papaya salad. There's so many more culinary delights on the outdoor menu. One thing's for certain there's plenty of great food to sample on the streets of Bangkok, and indeed all around Thailand. My suggestion is when you do get here, be adventurous and get out on the street for an authentic taste of this country.